Well, we welcome you to this practice with a greeting honoring you. And for that, bring my palms together. Namaste. Today's practice, I'd like you to think about um, yoga and what it means to you, whether this is your first time watching one of my videos or if you're one of my original members. Um, I wanna share um, a little quote with you from Susanna Barkataki, who is a yoga instructor and advocate for the appreciation and not appropriation of yoga as far as the Southeast Asian, Indian, et cetera, cultures that um, really brought yoga to, to life a um, long, long time ago. So Susanna Barkataki um, posted a few days ago on, on her Instagram, and I actually reshared it. So I'd like us to focus on this today in class. Yoga is not a brand to be sold, but a practice to be devoted to, honored, and learned over a lifetime. And it is my hope that through these classes, including today's, that I'm able to introduce you to things that will take you beyond just how the physical body feels on the mat. So let's close our eyes, bring the palms together at heart center, sit up straight or as straight as you can. Take a few deep breaths to let that sink in and really Think about what yoga means to you and maybe even setting an attention. And if you're, you're just here for the physical practice today, know you are welcomed. That is where most of us began. Just be open to what the body can teach you today. Begin to fill the lungs and chest cavity with air as you breathe in deeply. Exhaling slowly, the warm air out through the nostrils, emptying the body of breath. Continuing the cycle of breathing. The key point of the asana practice, this physical practice of yoga, connecting with the breath, letting that guide our movements, return, our wandering thoughts back to the moment. On your next exhale, press out as much air as you can. Full exhale, emptying totally every little lobe of the lung for a big inhale. We'll take an ohm together or just listen. Oh. Take a deep breath in, lift the gaze, blink open the eyes, exhale, release the palms. Welcome yourself to your mat. We'll begin today in child's pose. Lowering the hips over the heels, lowering the chest over the knees, extending the arms up overhead, forehead to the mat. Feel free to widen your knees as much as you need or keep them together. Fingertips outstretched towards the top of the mat. Allow the tailbone to grow heavy. Allowing the earth to support you. Letting the breath bring you back to your intention whenever you find yourself distracted. And then inhale, tent the fingertips up so just the finger pads are on the mat. And walk the hands over the left side, taking a stretch into the right side body. Breathing through from the right wrist all the way to the right hip. Open mouth, exhale. Walk the fingertips back to center. Spend a breath here. And then inhaling, walking the fingertips over the right side, only as far as you need to feel a gentle tug from the left wrist 
Down the left arm, left side body to the left hip. Inhale to expand, exhale to soften. On your next breath out, open the mouth, let it all go, cleansing breath. Inhale, walk the fingertips to center. And then begin to sit up, curling the spine as you go. Head and the neck are the last to come up. And then bring your hands a few inches behind you. You can also use a block here if it's difficult for you to reach behind. I'm going to take a few heart openers, chest expansions. And inhaling, lifting the hips off the feet, pressing them forward as you lift the heart and maybe dropping the head back. This is your breath in. And your exhale gently lowers back down. Tuck the chin. Inhaling, lifting up and open, keeping the legs hugging in towards each other. Exhale, lowering, tucking the chin. And take a few more rounds of that. If this feels uncomfortable or inaccessible for you, you can take cat and cow pose. Go ahead and flow through on more rounds. Coming back to sitting on our heels, on our knees. In hero pose. Take a breath in. Exhale, plant your hands and walk your knees back. And begin to take a modified push-up position. So the knees are down, feet are up. You can even cross your ankles if that feels better for you. You're going to be balancing here, so walk the hands out as far as you need until you can feel your core engage here. You're going to be wrapping everything up and in, spinning the inner elbows forward, relaxing the shoulders down the back, slight gaze in front of your fingertips, on an inhale, firm up, on an exhale, bending at the elbows, lower your chest between your hands. Uncross the legs, lower the feet. And here we are ready for cobra pose. Shrug the shoulders up towards your ears and then roll them down the back as you peel your heart up. Gaze just past the top of the mat, neutral in the neck. Spending a few breaths here. Hands are active, but you should be able to lift them off the mat. Using the energy of the core, tops of the feet pressing into the mat, active legs to hold you up, not your hands. One more breath in here. Exhale, lower the forehead down. Tuck the toes under. Again, acti activating the legs enough to lift the knees off the mat. Press the hands into the mat, squeeze, squeeze the elbows in, and press up to plank. Breathe. Lift through the belly button. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back, pressing your chest towards your thighs, maybe walking your feet forward. Heavy in the heels, head and neck release. And you can take any small movements here to continue warming yourself up, maybe pedaling the heels. Gently shaking the head yes and no, or left and right, up and down. When you're ready, look between your hands. Make your way to the top of the mat, tiptoeing. Inhale, halfway lift when you get there. So lifting through the spine, long and straight. Gaze straight down. Shoulders pressing away from the ears. Strong in the feet, pressing down into the earth. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly lower to forward fold. Let your head and arms hang heavy. You can heel toe your feet a little bit apart for more stability. On our next inhale, we're gonna roll up to stand. So bend the knees generously, curl the spine, take your time as you lift up. Shoulders, then the head and the neck. Breathe out. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees as much as you need to plant your hands. Step back to that plank, or you can lower to your knees and take that other 
version with the knees on the mat, the legs crossed and lowering down your chest between your hands. Otherwise from plank, we're gonna lower through chaturanga, shift the weight forward, bending at the elbows, lower down, slow and controlled. Inhale to cobra, exhale down, we're facing dog. Look between the hands again, walk them up to meet at the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale fold. Inhale to stand, sweep the arms up with you this time. Lifting up through the fingertips, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, cactus arms, so 90 degrees or lower with the elbows. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, clasp the fingertips behind your back. Heel toe the feet a few inches apart. Shrug the shoulders down the back as you press the fists down the spine. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward with the arms coming up overhead. Standing yoga mudra. Bending the knees enough so that your chest rests on your thighs. Inhale, come up halfway. Release the grip, but arms are still reaching back. And then swing them down and up as you stand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step it back to plank. Lower through. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, warrior one. Back heel spins down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Shine the headlights of your shoulder points and hip points towards the top of the mat. One more breath in. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step the right foot back, finding plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward this time, warrior one. Back heel spins down. Arms come up. Exhaling, grounding into the lower body. Inhaling, finding lift out of the pelvis, length through the spine. Gaze straight ahead again, shifting that focus of the hip and shoulder points forward. Shoulders relaxed. Gaze steady. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, plant your hands on either side of that left foot. Step the left foot back, lower through. Cobra or up dog on the inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here in downward dog. Lengthening through the spine, let the head hang heavy. Hug everything inward and upward. And look between your hands, bend the knees and hop, or you can just tiptoe like we've been doing to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Chair on your inhale. Sweep the arms around and then back up as you drop the hips. You're sitting, about to sit down in a chair, shifting the weight to the back of the heels. Gaze up, slight tuck of the tailbone, lifting through the lower belly. One more breath in. Exhale to stand. Bring the palms together at heart center. Drop in the gaze towards your fingertips or maybe closing your eyes. Allowing yourself to come back to that intention. Taking a few full breaths in and out. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, release the palms to either side for mountain pose. Shifting the weight to the left foot. Inhale the arms up and bring the right knee with you. One leg in mountain, 90 degree angle with the thigh and the knee. Exhale, shift forward, step that right foot back to high lunge. So our hips are squared here. Toes facing forward, right heels lifted. Arms come up. Working to straighten that back leg, but it's okay if you're nowhere near there. Breathing here. Zip up through the front body. One more breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, begin to reach forward with the torso until you can step to mountain, bringing the arms up. 
Exhale, hands down. Shift the weight to the right foot. Inhale, hands to center or wherever they were last time. I think they were up actually. So inhale the arms up overhead. And as you're shifting that weight to that right foot, lift the left knee up with you. So left thigh is parallel to the mat, knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. Exhale, begin to shift forward as you send that left leg back, high lunge, plant the left toes down, pull the left hip forward, right hip back, arms up, but keep those shoulders relaxed. So you might need to bend the elbows a little bit. Here we breathe. Two more rounds of breath, settle in, lengthen up. And then exhale, reach forward, begin to step to, to your mountain pose, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms broaden through the chest, look up. Exhale, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your side, breathe. For our next posture, you may want to grab your strap. We'll be moving to hand to big toe pose, standing version. So feel firm in your feet, grounding down through the lower body. Shift the weight to the left foot, palms together, heart center, or on your hips or wherever you need to feel grounded. <laughs> and then begin to lift that right knee up. So same as we did before, that one-legged mountain. This time, we're going to reach with our hand to the inside of the leg and grab the big toe, or maybe the ankle, or maybe you grab the knee. Maybe use your strap, put it around the foot and begin to straighten that leg in front of you. Grounding down through the left side, pressing the right hip down, left hip up, looking straight ahead, breathing as steady as you can. Backing out if your breath is not under control. Maybe challenging yourself a little bit more if your mind begins to wander. One more breath in here. If you can, release your hand or the strap, keeping that leg lifted. Exhale, slowly lower. Preparing for the other side, reset, ground down, lengthen through. Bring the palms to heart center, shift the weight to the right foot and begin to lift that left knee up. Spend a moment here if you need to play around with your balance. And then when you're ready, take your strap or your hand to grab somewhere on your foot, maybe your knee or your shin as well. And then begin to lengthen out if you're taking that variation. And it's just a variation, no better, no worse. Pull that left hip back, right hip comes forward. Be mindful you're not rounding your spine. You still want to be lengthened and broad through the heart, open, shining heart, always. Breathe. Focus. Find the part of this pose that takes you beyond the physicality of it. One more inhale. Keep the leg lifted. Release your grip or your mat or your strap. Slowly lower that left leg down. Good. If you need to shake it out, shake it out. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step the left foot back, low lunge, lower that left knee. Squeeze the legs in together so they're scissoring in towards each other as you reach your arms up. Breathe here. We're going to take our cow face arms here. So right elbow begins to bend. You pat yourself on the back with the right hand and gently swing that left arm around. Back of the left arm It's going to reach for your right fingertips. You can also use a strap here if your fingertips don't. You can also take any other variation that you need, maybe hand on your hip and hand on your head. No shame in your yoga game. The spine, the bind if you've got it, or any other shape. As we breathe here, opening through the shoulders, hugging the belly in, lifting up. Two more breaths. Remember to find openness in the heart. 
Inhale to release both arms up overhead. Exhale, half splits. Send the hips back over the knee and then maybe walk that right heel forward. This is a great place for blocks on either side to keep open through the chest. And we're working on keeping the hips together. So you're not shifting so that you can do a wide legged split here. We're keeping everything hugging in. You should be able to lift up. Maybe you need a lot of blocks. Maybe you need to bend your knee, but finding that lift through this posture. When you found your spot, spend three rounds of breath, hugging everything in, lifting through the heart. And then to exit out of the pose, bend into that right knee, bring that right foot back in, plant the hands, step to forward fold. Head down, let it all go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge on the other side. Plant the hands, step the right foot back, lower the right knee. Squeeze everything in, lift the arms up. Breathing here. And taking our cow face pose arms. So bend the left hand to the low, low neck, top of the shoulder blades maybe. Right arm comes around back of the right hand, reaches for the back. And again, any variation here. One side of the body would be a little different. You're welcome to use your strap. Keep the heart open. Keep pressing down with the low body, but still finding lift out of the pelvis. Two more breaths here. To release, inhale the arms up overhead. Half splits. Walk that left heel forward. If you need, the right knee can come back. Settling into your splits. If this is too intense this way, take a different variation. You can extend the left leg long and sink back onto the right heel. Find where you're at. Find some lift. And then breathe. Don't lock out the legs. Hugging everything in and up. Two more breaths here. Then into that left knee to come out of the posture. Coming back through our low lunge, then tuck the toes, lifting off that right knee. Step forward to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Grab your two big toes with your peace fingers. Halfway lift again, bringing the belly on the thighs, bending the knees as much as you need. Exhale, fold, lifting up through the sitting bones, letting the head dangle. No weight in the neck. Release here. On an inhale, look up halfway, release the toes, bring your hands to your hips, slowly begin to stand up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank. You can lower through or we'll meet it in downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale, look between your hands. Tiptoe towards the top of the mat. Take one more half lay lift. And then exhale, plant the hands. Standing splits. Shift the weight to the right foot. Lift the left leg from the inner thigh. So our hips are still level. You should be able to put a plate of your favorite snack right up on your tailbone across the top of your bum there. You don't want those to spill over. So adjust your hips as needed. Let the head hang heavy. Gazing at your knee. Working on lengthening, straightening through that right leg. Strong in the left. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Take a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, we'll move to half or standing splits on the other side. 
lowering your hands down, shifting the weight to the left foot. Gently send that right leg back, lifting from your inner thigh. So spin that inner thigh in and up, lengthen through the left leg. Remember to level out your hips. You've got your plate of cookies or favorite snack there. Exhale it out. Relax through the head, the jaw. Looking back at your knee. Final breath in. Exhale, lower that right leg to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step back to plank. Hold here. You've got it. Lower to your knees if you need. And then lower to your knees, chest between the hands. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look up at your hands and step your feet on either side of your hands. So wide to the edges of the mat, coming into Malasana Yogi Squat. Palms together, heart center. We'll be here for several rounds of breath. You have the option of playing around with crow if you would like. Maybe using your block as a little, little prop. Maybe you stay in Malasana. Maybe you take Malasana to forward fold if it's a little too intense for you to just sit in this posture for too long. So those are your options, as well as a variety of other things you may feel that would be better for your body right now. Do you? I'm going to play around with crow. So planting the hands, spreading the fingertips wide apart, lifting up onto my toes and wiggling my knees into my armpits. Or alternatively, you can squeeze them on the outer edges of your triceps. So find some lift and then look really far ahead as you shift the weight forward. And maybe you lift one toe, maybe you lift both. Find some length and lift. Sounds counterintuitive, but just play and have some fun. If you're in Malasana, maybe rocking back and forth would feel good. Take two more rounds of breath wherever you're at. And then to exit, gently plant the hands. Step the legs back to plank, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes, bring the fingertips in line with the chest, hug the elbows in, inhale, taking a big cobra pose. So lifting up as much as you can. You can press into your hands a little bit here. Breathing, keep the neck neutral, so gaze slightly downward. One more inhale, exhale slowly lower. Bend the knees, we'll take bow pose, reach back with the hands and grab the outer edges of the feet. Roll the shoulders down the back, hug the legs in as you lift the heart, lifting the knees off the mat. Breathing deeply, looking up. Maybe rocking on the belly back and forth. Final inhale, no bow and arrow action here, just gently release. Lower down, maybe one side of the face and take some windshield wipers with the knees left and right. Switch the side of the face if you lower it to one side. We'll lower the legs down, bring the chin to the mat, bring the hands next to each other. Slowly press yourself up to hero pose. Sitting back on your knees, shrugging the shoulders down the back. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can sit on a block or you take any other comfortable seated position. Take that right hand and pull it across your shoulder, across the front of your body, pulling that shoulder, stretching that shoulder. Left hand can either hook around the elbows or you can gently press that arm closer towards you. Breathing here. Release the left hand, extend that right arm long and back, maybe into a little twist. Exhaling back to center. Inhale, extend that left arm long and then cross it over your chest, gently pressing it towards you with that right hand or you can hook the elbows to help you that way. Breathing here.
Release that right arm or right hand. Re-extend that left arm, maybe reaching back. Exhale back to center. We'll take a half camel pose here. I'm coming up onto your knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Hug the elbow, elbows together and lengthen through the spine. So slight tuck of the tailbone, lifting of the heart. Gazing up and try to shine your heart towards the ceiling. So before we just dump back, find lift as if your pelvis could stay where it is and the heart tilts back and open. Stay breathing here. You can tuck your toes under if that feels more comfortable grounding for you. Breathe one more inhale. On the exhale, gently release, lower the hips down, release the hands. Roll out the, air, the wrists by extending the arms wide and taking some circles with the wrists in one direction and then the other. Pull the fingertips back gently in the opposite way, hand pointing down. And the other hand. And clasp the fingertips behind you. Roll the shoulders down the back as you draw the fist down the finger, down the, the tailbone there. And then inhale, exhale, fold. Arms coming up overhead, forehead to the mat. Relaxing it down. One big breath in, exhale, release the arms to your sides, taking a child's pose. Breathing here. <sighs> Inhale to sit back up. Extend the legs long out in front of you. And take a forward fold. You can sit on a blanket, roll up the back of your mat if you need. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, belly to thighs, reaching forward with the heart. Allow the arms to reach towards your ankles or your feet wherever they land. Lengthen through the spine, exhale, fold. Three rounds of unhurried inhales and exhales here. Spin the thighs down and in. Let the head hang heavy. Inhale, look up halfway. And as you sit up, bring that right knee in and put your foot about a fist width distance between your thigh and that right foot. On inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna reach forward and fold between the legs. Reaching for your foot, your ankle, whatever you've got, feel free to use your strap here. Although we are reaching forward, our back should be kind of straight here. So I'm not hunched over with the left knee bent just to grab my foot. Leg is somewhat straight, it's okay if you have a little bit of bend. Reaching forward, hinging at the hips, grabbing where you can, keeping some length in the spine, keeping the heart open. Two more rounds of breath. Last round. Full exhale, don't skimp. Inhale to slowly release. Switch sides, extend the right leg long, bring that left knee in, other, same thing, other side. About a fist between the foot and the thigh. Feeling grounded down, reach the arms up overhead. Hinging at the hips, reach forward for that foot, ankle, knee, top of the thigh. Maybe you don't move at all. You're just thinking about it. Remember, yoga is more than just a physical practice. Be where you're at and breathe. Find some length in the spine, openness in the heart. Two more breaths. Make them count. Inhale, coming up. Extend the legs long, shake it out. Maybe a little heart opener, bringing the hands behind you, lifting the heart, looking back, arching the spine. 
Exhale, coming back to center. Bring the soles of the feet together for bound angle pose. Lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders down the back. You know the cues by now. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Maybe cupping the toes. Focusing on that breath. This can be a really grounding, centering, inward focus pose. So now would be a good time to come back to your intention and the question you have for yourself about how to take yoga beyond just the physicality of it. On the inhale, slowly sit back up. From here, we'll take fire log pose. Let's start with the right leg in front of you, stacking the left leg on top. Shins will be parallel. Feel free to use your blocks, props, whatever, in between the spaces. If you have a lot of space between the floor or your knees, whatever is mostly comfortable for you. There's always a little bit of discomfort. That's where the change and the transformation happens, right? but we don't want any sharp pain or anything that you can't breathe through. So sit up as straight as you can. And you can either stay here or you can begin to, again, hinging at the hips, walk the fingertips forward, belly and heart reaching forward, spine stays straight. When you can't move forward anymore without curling your spine, that's where you stay. Drop the head and the neck. Breathe into that left hip. Be open to the difficult sensations. Meet them with the breath. Welcome them with the inhale. Transform them with the exhale. Take a couple more rounds. Finalizing the breath here. Look up, walk the fingertips back. Take that left leg and gently swing it around towards the left side, bending at the knee and drawing that left heel in towards your glute for a deer twist. A little bit different variation here. So we're going to turn in towards the right knee and walk the fingertips over the right side, twisting the belly, reaching the heart towards the right side and moving our gaze over our right shoulder if that's comfortable for you. Breathing here. Final inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, let it out. Slowly coming back to center. Lifting the knees up, taking a few windshield wipers. And then bringing the left knee down in front of you, shin parallel to the top of the mat, right leg crosses on top for fire log on the other side. Being gentle and mindful of how this side of the body feels and wants to settle into the pose. Propping yourself up as needed and sitting up at whatever straight looks like for you. Maybe beginning to walk the fingertips forward, lowering your gaze, Keeping the spine long and then settling into stillness. Inhaling to wherever you feel it. Exhaling whatever you wish for yourself, for your body, for your practice. Just a few more mo moments of breath here. Inhale, begin to lift your gaze. Walk the fingertips back as you sit up. Gently take that right leg and bring it to the right side for deer pose. Right heel coming in as much as you need towards the right hip. 
And then walking your fingertips over the left side. Remember, you need to still find some lift as you turn, twist towards the left. Using your fingers and your hands to lift and prop. Aiding the twist, but that twist is coming from the core. So don't jerk yourself into it. Lengthen up. Exhale from the belly, through the heart, past the left shoulder gaze. Find some stillness. Final full inhale. A little bit more, a little bit more in. Exhale it out, slowly coming back to center. Maybe through a few windshield wipers if that feels like what you need. And we're gonna lower onto our back for bridge pose. Option to take supported bridge if you'd like to insert a block under your sacrum. Feet about hips width distance apart. Pressing the feet down, active through the legs, lifting from the core. Inhale, lift the hips off the mat. Taking your block to your sacrum, you're taking the reclined version. Wiggling the shoulder blades under the mat or underneath you together. Maybe clasping your fingertips together if you are taking the active version of bridge. Spend five rounds of breath here. Keep the thighs active, spinning in towards each other. And when you're ready to lower, do so ever so slowly. Slow motion zippering from the back of the neck through the upper back, the mid back, lowering down until the tailbone meets the mat. Removing your block, doing the same if you took the supported version. Lower the knees to the right, extend the left arm to the left side for another gentle twist. Looking over your left side as your knees become heavy and lower towards the right. Inhale back to center, switch sides, lower the knees to the left, gaze and right arm out towards the right. Slowing down the breath. Inhale back to center. Bring the knees in towards your chest, hugging them in. Maybe rocking left and right, massaging the low back, sacrum. And taking happy baby, reaching between the knees, grabbing the toes or any other accessible spots on your legs and taking any variation of your happy baby. I like to extend one leg long on each side, but you can also just stay still, drawing the knees down, pulling the heart open, pressing flat feet towards the ceiling. When you're ready, bring the knees back together, hugging the knees in one more time, and lowering the legs onto the mat. If there's any final postures you'd like to take before we close our class in Shavasana, feel free to move and breathe through any now. Otherwise, find yourself on your back, on your mat, getting comfortable, cozy. Emptying the mind of how you felt, what you thought of the class and your body and your postures in it. Using your breath to relax every inch of you. Scanning the body from the crown of the head all the way down to your toes. Release the awareness of your breath 
and allow the belly to soften, allowing your breathing to return naturally. Allow yourself these few moments of quiet rest. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the feeling of your body laying on the mat, your presence in your space. Begin to roll the ankles and the wrists. Bend your knees and bring the soles of the feet together, taking butterfly pose. Knees gently lowering to either side of the mat. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Spend just another breath or two here. And gently release the hands. Close the knees together. Roll to one side. And gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat at the top of the mat. Keeping the eyes soft or closed. Bringing the hands together at heart center. I challenge you to not let this be the end of your practice today, but the beginning. Finding curiosity, joy, and meaning in the full practice of yoga. I look forward to sharing more of those practices with you next time on the virtual mat.